Hello there. Um, I wanted to make a video uh, about my electric scooter. I know there's um, a few people out there who've got one now. Uh, come under the same category by law as an, as, uh, an off-road use or private use vehicle only. Um, so I just wanted to take you around some of the f uh, safety features that I've uh, put on my electric scooter to make it more roadworthy. Now I'm not saying it's legal to ride on the roads with these, but electric vehicles are going to be the future. So uh, sooner or later, people are going to have to come to terms with the fact that they're being used quite frequently by everybody. Um, yeah, so this uh, scooter was one off eBay, uh, about 350, 360 pounds, something like that. Um, yeah, pretty basic, but. Uh, very good fun, not massively fast, you know, you could probably get about 25 out of it top um, without wear the battery down pretty quick. But what I wanted to take you around really was um, the additional safety features I've got on it. Um, this bike <coughs> comes with, uh, it comes with lights already, so you've got the pretty bright halogen light at the front. Now I recommend that you point that downwards so it doesn't dazzle oncoming traffic, so in a downwards direction and away to the left. Uh, it also has a rear light and it's also brake activated, that rear light. That's, that comes with the bike and I added an additional safety feature here which is another brake light which is also has indicators included. Now I recommend to people who are going to buy a bike or scooter like this to get one of these indicator systems. Very simple, it's a, it's a wired in system um, and this is the, uh, the unit that you have on the uh, handlebars so you click the orange tab right for indicating right, left for indicating left and uh, it has a horn feature but at the moment I've got it set as I saw from another YouTube video uh, set between two settings because there's about eight different settings of tones for the beeper that would ordinarily be a noise but you have it set between two and you can get it to silent which is good it has a night mode which just basically means that you have a little light on the front and one single light on the back but that also allows for the brake and the indicators. Now also um, if you're going to be riding to work and things like that then um, it's going to be wet possibly if you're riding in the wet and what I did was I, uh, I added just out of a bit of um, plastic I added some mud guards front and back very simple job um, and unfortunately because this wire is a little bit short it does cut across the middle of the bike as you can see but I'm going to be the only one using it so that's fine um, yeah and when I'm riding it I always wear a safety helmet not crash helmet but a cycle helmet and um, a high visibility jacket and uh, one last thing which is or two last things is it's got a rear view mirror there to see what's going on behind you and um, a speedo which is in miles per hour which uh, uh, just it's just off there but yeah it must be in miles per hour kilometers per hour and they can uh, they can do you for that. So, um, yeah, I hope this video has been uh, has been helpful to to anybody who's looking to buy one of these scooters and and possibly use it on the roads for commuting and things. Ah, yes, one last thing. Um, you just have to look online. You'll see on on eBay this particular style of lamp, which is the one I put on there. Mine is the XC408. Now I don't think you really have m many options to choose on eBay, but um, it's uh, yeah, it's, it's 
it's a pretty good one. It's fine. It's yeah, it does the job. Let's traffic know what's going on. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody, and um, stay safe. Choose electric.